you go. Um, I was wondering, how high do you think the dome is? How old are you? Twelve. <laughs> Good for you. Thank you, by the way, and thank you for coming. I, did you come here with your parents? Did you sneak out of school? How'd you get here? I came here with my parents. Right on. Where are your parents? Right over there. Thank you, guys. <laughs> and that will segue me into my, my letter I was going to read you guys. Mark, my grandkids are 12, 10, and 8 years old and are all third-generation flat earthers. You convinced me nearly two years ago. I pass it on to my kids, and together we pass it on to my grandchildren. So flat earthers, pretty innocuous, right? Yeah, people can believe what they want. It's a little bit funny, even if you don't spend too much time thinking about it. When their science teacher was telling the kids the Earth spins at 1,000 miles an hour and goes around the sun, the class erupted, with about a third of the class saying, no, it doesn't. But the problem is that this isn't a phenomenon restricted to flat earthers. They try to make other people believe it, and then those people take it a step further and then just kind of, you know, discount all kinds of scientific principles. Long live flat earth. Cool. Thank you. Hey, very welcome, man. <laughs>